okay so this uh, in this video we are going to talk about the interactivity or let's say or we can say is the event handlers of the react flow okay so let's say whenever there is uh, once you have connected the load that time an event you want to track down or let's say uh, when someone has selected an edge that time you want to select or uh, that time you want to you know get the event or um, let's say once someone has uh, what I can say is has done some changes to the node that time you want to track down the change so to track down the change of node edge or the connection between the node and edge these three types we have some uh, predefined uh, uh, oh, interactivity events uh, or the change events which is provided by the react uh, react flow so which is if I do it so by default so there are these three things which we will be using okay so react flow I will uh, if I go to react flow so three events which I told react flow actually uses is on node change like there are multiple if you can see but these are some of the important one which we will be uh, discussing and next will be on uh, edge change okay and next will be on connect on connect so initially while I was understanding it was quite difficult me, for me to understand how these things work but I will just explain you uh, don't worry so this will happen when uh, when uh, like uh, you have uh, when you are uh, let's say when uh, you are uh, moving the node here to here or doing something doing some changes with the node or this one is happening is uh, let's say uh, when the edge is selected that time this event event will be emitted and on connect is let's say node 1 connects to node 2 that time this event is emitted okay so uh, right now what we do is we create two functions uh, with the same name on node change on uh, change and on connect so we haven't created this okay so we will create this here at the top okay so first is uh, so there are a lot of errors <laughs> okay uh, I'll just go one by one very quick so first is uh, const on uh, node nodes change that time we are tracking down an event right okay and uh, then we have on what I say on oh, no. edge change that time we are tracking down an event okay so uh, and then we have something called what I say on connect const on connect that time again we are tracking down an event sorry yes okay so during these three times we are uh, tracking down the event so during an on node change uh, so make sure that you guys uh, use use a callback and use memo whenever you're working with the, uh, this because it will render many times so you know so that time to prevent the multiple uh, re-render we use, use callback okay okay uh, to save time um, I've just I'm just pasting it again so you can see what is this actually happening uh, so set edge 
I think this is set uh, edge. Okay, uh, so to save time, as I said, I'm just uh, doing some things very quick, but I will try explain you what is happening. So this is on node change which we created. So whenever uh, we are using callback function for all these three, okay. So let's say whenever there's an on node change, right? So that time what will we, we will be doing is that time we will be setting the node here, which is an use state, okay and that we will be passing to the initial node and the same we will be passing to the initial edge which we have okay so right now what previously it was already done via react flow but here we will be doing it we will be adding it we will be connecting it and we will be applying the node change and the add change okay so this is the main difference so if you remember previously we were connecting it by ourselves but here we are connecting it by uh, uh, sorry by ourselves but at the same time we can do multiple events in between which is happening so you can track down that okay so uh, what i have done is i have added a console log so you can see when this event is what actually is happening okay so I just my main uh, goal was to actually you know just show you this because it will save a lot of time and at the same time it will help us to understand things quick okay so set node state set node set edge we are passing this here and we are using the apply node change and apply edge change all from the react flow and same goes for the add edge okay so we are uh, adding the node changes then we are applying the edge changes that where it was moved and then we are adding the add edge whenever there is an on connect event okay so this is what is happening so if i go ahead and if i just re re reload so right now please look carefully right now see just the console log okay so whenever i move it the on node changes fires so let's see what it fires so the first one if you see so here it says like which was moved the world the first id was moved now if i move this so here it says that position 2 was moved so the first one which you data which you get is actually mm, the both and then which one was moved okay now uh, if i select this then on edge is selected see and this time it selects okay edge of one to do is selected here okay and type selected equals to do so it gives the data so uh, now let's check the another one uh, let's say uh, when we are connecting it right so uh, for the connecting event to come up what i do is i just uh, uncomment this so there will be no more in between them but when i try to connect from one and two you can see on connect event comes and it says that okay the source is this and the target to which it is selected has an id of two so this is how all these three events are getting changed so i hope you get my point and at the same time uh, you understand why are we using this three so so this is how it all works so if you have any doubts you can comment below and yeah thanks for watching and in the next video we will talk about custom uh, nodes so right now whatever nodes we are creating is the default one but we will be messing it up and we will be creating our own in the next video so please be sure to check the next video